finishing up the parts section of this UNU tutorial, uh, there are two broad categories of everything that's left. And that is storage, you know, these are different ways to store things, and cosmetic items. Uh, and some of these cosmetic items have functionality as well. But on the broad sets, they're mostly cosmetic. So first, we'll go ahead and go with storage. Uh, so we have crates. These are just, you know, the typical crates that, you know, pretty much any MTS vehicle that hauls stuff can have. So there are crates, which are metal and wooden for UNU. You know, there are different varieties for different packs. And the barrels. Now these are all more or less interchangeable if a pack is nice and up to date. Because these mirror actual items that are in the MTS core mod. Uh, so if we look over here, oh, actually I don't even, oh wait, I do have it installed. Uh, so that's going to be like the barrel and the crate. So these are in the core MTS mod. And as a result, most parts pack from Trin to Unu, and I think even IAV will have some form of this uh, base crate. And so these can be placed in the backs of a lot of vehicles that are kind of meant to haul stuff. Crates are basically mini chests, and barrels can hold liquids. So, you know, we can put, you know, them all over the place in here. Really straightforward. Again, most MTS parts packs, including the official pack, will have these. Uh, so the next ones are these specialty storage things. So these all act like crates, with the exception of the jerry can that acts like a barrel. Um, but these are a little special. Uh, they basically do the same thing, but functionally they're different. And so we have containers, which are basically those massive shipping containers that you see, intermodal containers, and you can put them on the backs of trailers and trucks, and you know they hold a lot of different things. They're the size of a double chest, which you know doesn't quite mirror their size, but it is what it is. Uh, and so you know these are conformed by the convention. So many of the packs that follow the convention, including Trin. Uh, Moon Spire or whatever um, Unili decides to rename her pack. You know, these are all, uh, you know, will have containers in them or, you know, some things will be compatible with containers. Uh, on that same vein are luggage uh, crates. And so luggage, uh, there are three different types of luggage in uh, UNU. And this is basically a type of crate that is also defined by the parts pack convention. It's a little smaller then a full-size crate, so you don't need a truck to haul it around. You know, it's a suitcase, it's a duffel bag, it's a, an old-school trunk. And these uh, can be placed on any UNU seat, um, you know, any UNU vehicle, rather, in the seat. So that it's defined by the vehicle, not the seat. Um, so you can't put it in the driver's seat, for example. And yeah, they can just sit there, you know, you can just put it on the seat, you know, for when you're going to head to the airport or whatever. Uh, you know, they only hold a row of items because, again, they're kind of small. And uh, you can also put them in the trunk of a lot of cars. And so, you know, it's just, you know, load up the trunk with, you know, little stuff instead of, you know, a gigantic crate that you have to lug in there. Uh, and this is just, you know, a little more typical to what you can find. Um, you know, just basically smaller crates that are, you know, the average person are more likely to have. And again, conf uh, you know, controlled by the convention, most of the convention followers will have this in their vehicles. So, you know, you pop the trunk, you never know you can throw it in there. Uh, then the ammo box and the jerry can are two things that are, right now are not too used outside of UNU. Uh, so the ammo box, you place it on a vehicle, and if that vehicle has a gun on it, it can auto excuse me, automatically reload the ammo from the ammo box. And then the jerry can is a part, you know, so just like a barrel and everything else that you can attach to a vehicle. But the difference is uh, it's smaller and defined, uh, you know, it, it's a jerry can basically, and you can load, let me see if, there we go, and you can actually load from the jerry can into the vehicle. So if you actually look at that gas gauge, we can see that it's going up. Now technically you can do this with any barrel, uh, 
but the jerry can just adds a cool little functionality with it and in future mts versions a jerry can will be a specific thing all right so those are all the different storage items so we got you know the standard fare crates that you throw in the back of trucks that most packs are going to have uh to the luggage which are a little more typical for a civilian to have you know average person to jerry cans and ammo boxes so next we'll go ahead and move on to the cosmetic items so the first ones that we'll cover are purely cosmetic these don't add any functionality whatsoever and they are bumper stickers and bus advertisements so bumper stickers are a great way to sort of personalize your vehicle so you know in case you want to show off that you've been to Ankapistan, uh, you can even put them on the military vehicle because I forgot to take it off. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's all good. You know, put on a bumper sticker. You know, the, you never know what vehicles could take bumper stickers. Even the bus. I think you put eight bumper stickers on there. So yeah, those are bumper stickers. Bus adverts are advertisements are pretty similar. Um, unfortunately, it looks like uh, I forgot to update the bus, um, but you know, provided this is actually up to date, you could slap a bus advertisement on the side of the bus to advertise different things, whether it's Aperture Science or just Unu a bajillion times copy and pasted. And then lastly, for these little mini cosmetic, you know, this little subcategory, are license plates. So any vehicle that follows the convention and is up to date, you can actually rip off the license plate and put a different one on. So, you know, if you want to role play on your server and have different areas or whatever in unu right now there's only the blackthorn license plate so you're stuck being a loyal citizen of the blackthorn empire but you know you could rip this off and for example throw on a license plate from the immersive vehicles vanity pack or the Unuverse pack once that gets updated so yeah you can just take off the license plate swap them out you know it's a great way to add a little bit of variety to uh vehicles and especially for role playing Next is sort of a new feature for UNU, and that is the accessories system. So these are similar to parts, however, they apply to multiple vehicles. So for example, the stake side bed, I'll actually grab a uh, Mastodon pickup to fully demonstrate this. Uh, so the stake side bed can be applied to both the Mastodon pickup and the steed pickup. Now notice these beds are shaped differently. So how is the same part gonna work for both? Well, it's not a part, it's an accessory. So basically when you place it, it activates the accessory. So here on this, it's a nice little short stake side bed, um, but for the Unu steed, it's a bit longer. Now the one nice thing that the stake side bed does is it actually allows you to store an extra layer of crates. So now we can actually stack this up too high instead of uh, just one. Whereas without the stake side bed, uh, you can only store a single layer of cargo. And so, you know, these accessories apply to different vehicles. And it's, you know, it's a, it's a way to like activate customizations on the vehicles. Uh, so some other examples are we got the exterior visor for the uh, Unu Mariner, and then we've also got fender skirts as well, you know, to give it sort of that classy look. Um, and so, for example, different fend different vehicles are going to have different styled fender skirts, but they all require the same accessory items. So that's, you know, a pretty neat little way to reduce, you know, having to have a bunch of specific items. And that's going to also apply to this canvas top on the Jeep, is you can just have a canvas top. And the same canvas top part will apply to the mule and any other any other vehicle that has a soft top. And then finally, we have these. These are emergency vehicle parts. So I'll actually grab a an emergency rabbit or you know police rabbit, and then a compact wheel. So I've kind of forgot to prep this part, but hey, no big. It only takes a little bit. And so this is going to be, you know, a push bar, which actually comes pre-installed on most UNU uh, vehicles. And then also the siren. So, you know, we've got that. And then also you can just put the gyro fare in the center on some UNU vehicles. You know, it depends on what the vehicle calls for. Um, so yeah, great ways to sort of deck out your police cars. Um, those are covered in a little more detail when I go over 
emergency vehicles. So with all those miscellaneous parts, I hope uh, you found that all very useful. Definitely kind of shows you, you know, what you can do with UNU parts and all the uh, functionality they have. So with that, that sort of concludes this parts section of this tutorial series. And we'll start moving on to the individual vehicles so you can see, you know, what every vehicle takes.